I think a dog just threw up. I think that's what that sound was. Sorry. That's a horrible, horrible way to start a video. Oh God. Hello. Good morning. It's Tuesday. It's the start of a new week. Ah, I'm so excited. It's a great day to start. You know why? Because today I begin my microblading training. I'm nervous. I'm a little nervous. Just a little, just a little. I'm doing okay right now. I feel like once I start like driving up to it, I'm gonna be like, ah! I just haven't been uh, to any sort of training or like around people in what feels like years. <laughs> so it, just, it has been years. It's been since 2020 and it's almost the end of 2021. Um, so it'll be good, it'll be good. But I'm just like, how do I do this? <laughs> how do I conversate? Yeah, so I thought I would just bring you guys along for the journey. Obviously, I can't like record in in class. I think she's, I saw a few people posting from other classes on social media, um, kind of the journey on their stories. So I know that you're allowed to like social media record like that kind of stuff, but obviously I'm not just gonna like bring this camera and just like point it at everybody. There's gonna be other students in the class, so I'm just gonna be very respectful of that, but I wanna get as much information as I can to share, so I'll share, you know, everything along with. It's a three-day class, and then I believe after that it's a lot of just, um, practicing and getting I don't know I don't know where I'm gonna be able to get in and get going because I just I am so ready to get started and just take on clients but I haven't even learned it yet <laughs> so I need to slow my roll I believe I'm gonna have to wear a mask the whole time so I don't know why I bother with lipstick but I can't not put something on my lips I just can't not do it so yeah anyway I just thought I would pop on and say hello and welcome to this week. So anyway, I'm gonna go make a smoothie. Um, I'm gonna pack my stuff and get going. You have your bows out. Video um, is okay too? Yeah, for okay. sure. I did day one, but you guys, I'm so embarrassed. I'm like, I'm a makeup artist. I had like foundation creases all day. And I was like, I'll be the model for the first brow mapping. So there's like all these photos of me out there now on the interboob with my foundation missing from right here. My shitty eyebrows and my stupid eye like my eye line across my eye. I was so embarrassed. I did get to uh, practice with the tattoo machine for the first time today. And to me, that was when it like really kicked in. Like, oh my God, I'm gonna be like tattooing people's faces. I guess it just like didn't really hit me because I don't, I can't like think too far ahead or else I'll start to like stress myself out. Um, so I'm just taking everything day by day and I guess it was just like dirt. I also have the worst cramps. I started my period this morning as I was getting up to get ready to go. So I had to pretend and endure that I wasn't having horrible cramps. Anyway, Lyle's getting us some dinner. I don't know what I want yet, so I gotta kind of think about it and sit and just relax. And then I've got to do brows on him, so he better be ready. <laughs> Ooh, good morning. I'm getting ready so quickly because I chose to sleep in a little bit as opposed to yesterday when I had more time than I knew what to do with. The complete opposite feeling from today and yesterday. <laughs> All right, that's as good as she's gonna get. I'm gonna give my hair a little bit of a curl in the front just cause I lost it all in my sleep. I zonked out at 10 o'clock, zonked. I was out for the count. <laughs> So I got a, got a good night's rest. Here's my oats. Gave them a little soakaroo. Must leave now, must leave now. I'm so glad I stopped for gas. On my way home, 
because I knew <laughs> this would happen. Here's the outfit. I'm wearing some just gray button down jeans, some dark gray ones. I have on some Nine West kind of like ortho looking shoes, but they're so cozy and they're kind of fun. I've got the Gucci belt on just because I like to have like a pop of flair that just like, even though I'm casual, I also like to dress well. That's my new vibe. And then this shirt I just got thrifting um, that I just, yeah, thought would be a good basic black shirt to wear for work stuff because the ink does spray everywhere. So best to wear dark colors. That's my little OOTD for brow training. dogs out. <laughs> it's time to get out of the orange lighting. It's time to get licensed. Today is the day. Today is the day. I'm really, I wouldn't say nervous because I don't feel nervous feelings. My normal nor nervous feelings. I think I'm in shock. Yeah, yeah, that's the feeling. I'm in shock. I brought home all my equipment. So as you saw last night, I was practicing on my skins, which is just like, you know, the fake looking skin has the feel of it a little bit and gives you the um, practice for the motion. I am gonna go get certified and then tomorrow I have off, I have nothing going on, so I'm just gonna, I actually have an Ulta um, haul to unbox because I got two boxes delivered that I've been waiting for forever. It took forever, I think it got lost. And so I was hoping to have all that stuff for this week because it would have been really nice to have um, just like stuff to do my makeup quicker, but I've managed to get by. I've managed, I need to go. So I'm gonna make this smoothie, pop it into a to-go cup and drink it on my way. From our lovely walk they did so good that was the best walk we've ever done together look at how happy she is with herself she's so happy with herself she said mama I did it let's get these harnesses off let's get these harnesses off okay I did want to show you my pasta salad because I'm pretty proud of it I'm about to pour it into this bowl here and essentially it's just some salad dressing and then whatever is in the fridge. Like you can make pasta salad with so many different things. And just kind of like working with what you got. Oil and vinegar, oil and vinegar works too. So 
I just like this because it's already mixed oil and vinegar with herbs and you you all know that Newman's Own is a classic but I had some spinach left over from my smoothies this week some tomato some black olive I have some diced up um, aged cheddar cheese squares I just diced that up yeah and then cooked some noodles I rinsed them off cold so everything in here is cold and then I just added a bunch of herbs like Italian garlic onion and then we've got something to snack on for a little while and it's just nice because I used a lot of stuff that was like about to go bad handy dandy kitchen sink pasta I'm gonna let my hair naturally dry a little I look cray so this is one of those power of makeup situations. Uh, the Matte Velvet Skin Makeup Forever Foundation. I'm gonna use the uh, Tarte Ultra Creamy Found, um, Concealer. It's good, it's good, it does the job. Sorry, my camera was timing out mid-sentence so hopefully you got that now I'm going to take the beauty bakery flour setting powder this has talc in it so it does make me a little like mm, but it does have a nice finish to it so the main thing is catching the concealer before it settles so like if you can set it quickly I feel like this tends to look a lot smoother Okay, so now we're gonna use the brow freeze and get my brows going. Um, I have done this on camera before, but I'll do it again just so you guys can see it. This stuff is just, it's just too good. Whoa, really dipped in there. Just give those a little trimmy trim trim. I'm gonna go change, I'm burning up now, so I'll be right back. So I changed like four times. It's just that weird temperature outside where it's hot cold and so you don't know what to wear and you're cold and you're hot at the same time and it could change at the drop of a hat oh it looks like next weekend it's gonna rain oh i can't wait um so at least it gave my brows time to rest because i do find that the brow freeze needs a moment to kind of set and dry so i just kind of push them up I got this little tool in my brow laminating kit. Look at that. It's great. Let's use the Jamie Genevieve Vive lip liner. This one's in Brat. And now we've got that KKW Nude One. It's creamy. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, goodness gracious. That is nude. It's really pretty. I really like it. Why is everybody saying shit about this? And I love the feel. I love that creamy feel. Because then you can just blot it. it. Gives you the option to mattify it yourself or stay a little bit more on the creamy side. That is nude. Now we're going to contour. This is the exciting part. Honestly, I think this is, this is kind of really exciting. That and the eyeshadow, because since I have on a purple dress, I can wear some of those purple eyeshadows in there. I usually don't go matchy matchy with my um, makeup like that, but I think it's a subtle enough purple I can kind of play with. So I'll be able to make it look good. But here are the two contour sticks. We're gonna do a little snatcherilla of the noserilla. Let's see how this goes. Down the center of the nose. And then we're gonna do a little line. A line. Here. And here. See that? That's all the spaces where I want to cast a shadow to help suck in a little bit some of the areas. 
And we're just gonna blend in. You can also use your finger. That would be a nice way to just blend this in. Am I looking snatched? I did a little under here. I did kind of that V shape that just casts a shadow. It looks good in photos, not so much in real life. Uh, well, it looks fine in real life. It's just that it doesn't hide anything in real life. It's there, people can see it with their eyes. But in a photo, it does help. See, it just kind of lifts. Cause I do have, I have some, <laughs> I don't obsess, but it definitely isn't something I love. I'm not obsessive over um, perfection, just so you know. I, it's stuff that I'm like, oh, that would be nice to, to kind of switch up, but I don't, you know, cry myself to sleep about it. I just think that's not healthy for us to not love ourselves exactly how we are in every stage. So I truly do think we are um, getting manipulated by social media for perfection. So just because somebody can afford all this stuff doesn't mean we all have to strive for that. But there's little things you can do that look nice, you know? They look nice. All right, and then after I contour, I'll usually go in and bronze up a little bit just to add some warmth and some structure to the cheekbones. So I usually just do an upward motion over the contour and just kind of blend it together. I'm using the Marc Jacobs bronzer. It's huge and it's lasting me a lifetime. So I imagine this will be the one I use for a long, long time. I think I actually got another one in the last subscription box and I liked it okay, but I just still love this one so much and it especially looks really good when I've got my tanner on. So come Monday next week, it all looks really good. My tan day one with that bronzer is just my favorite. Um, really random old school Tarte palette. It has a color in here called Passport and it's just such a gorgeous, really, really light, almost bronzer style hue of blush for the cheek and I love it. Wee! We're gonna use this palette. I'm so excited because it's just super, super fun. The Ather Beauty, I believe is how you say it. I still don't know. This guy. So I'm gonna take the crease brush first and I'm gonna do a little dab into Intention, which is the gray. Do you guys wanna get closer for this? Do you feel like that would help? Probably, huh? I was looking at old photos of myself from like even just a couple years ago. It made me realize, first of all, how long I've been doing YouTube because I started out just doing makeup videos and then I got like really bored with it and I just felt like there was so many people out there that were so much better than me that it was like, why am I doing this? And then I just started vlogging because I was having fun just making videos. But when I looked back, I was like, man, I was doing some really fun makeup looks and I have just kind of lost the luster on that and I want to get it back because I do still really enjoy makeup and now that I'm doing microblading I would like to incorporate in my services um, makeup so if somebody wants to get their brows done they can make an appointment for that and if they need me to do any sort of special occasion makeup they can come to my studio and do that as well so all of it will be all-encompassing for um, multiple occasions so as you saw, I just kind of did a little bit of like a smoky wing and it's not perfect. It is a little patchy. I'm just kind of getting used to this eyeshadow and just seeing how well it blends. And so far, I think it's pretty good. I think that's, you know, <clears throat> a good blend. Seems to be blending pretty all right. Oh, but I also noticed how small my lips were. I just, oh, my lips were so thin. I'm going to insert a photo. This is me just a couple years ago. I'm also skinnier and have less of this, but that's okay because age is a beautiful thing. No, it's not, but it's beautiful to grow as a person sometimes. Um, I don't mind being older. Yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> what's a way to say I don't mind that I look a little bit different? Uh, 
that's it that's all that's all I, that's the only way i can think of how to word it is like yes it was great to be all skinny and i look so different i look so young everything looks so different even just like five years ago when lyle and i were like engaged and planning our wedding and all that um everything was just so different had smaller lips that's for sure and i love the way i look now with my lips instead so it did solidify that i'm going to continue to plump them a little bit um you know it just it makes a little tiny difference you can't tell that i've had them done it's not like they're i don't think you can i don't think they're like huge and noticeable even though i don't mind that either i think that looks nice too i like a huge noticeable lip it's cute but for me i'm I'm happy with where they're at, glad I got them, and I would go back and get them touched up again sometime soon. Um, but yeah, I mean, I did a really subtle lip plumping, and I did it twice. I did the first round, and then I went back and said, mmm, a little plumper. And so I got it right to where I like it. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this lilac color, and then possibly this one too. So I'm going to play between those two. They're the most subtle of the purples without being, oh, that's nice. I like that. I don't want to be like purple eyeshadow lady, but I definitely want it to have like a pop. These are pretty. I like this uh, palette. I think I'm going to leave this out on my vanity and continue to use it. But wow. These colors are really fun, like really, really fun. I'm gonna just do a pop of that like more glittery pinky tone in the center. Whenever you do that in the center, it just gives your eye a little bit of a like widening effect. It just makes your eye, the, the space on your lid look bigger because it's a little more glowy. Um, so yeah, that's really pretty. I like it. So I'm gonna do my lower lash with the new Fenty mascara. Boom, this stuff is like, it's a big old container like but the brush isn't huge i just make a mess every time i do my makeup okay let's do this i still have to blow dry my hair oh my god three hours later all right so we're doing i stand i do it every time because i don't i need to slow down the true test will be when i take off my lilac street lashes and see if it does a nice um, thick spider like style lash because I have to do that the first week of taking off these lashes because my lashes recede a little bit and grow. All right, so now I'm going to do my hair with the new tool. Okay, so I'm going to blow dry. on YouTube has felt like a negative confused one but really oh my goodness I was just listening to Helen Anderson she's amazing um, she's a youtuber from the UK and she's hilarious she's tattooed she's an amazing video editor and she was having imposter syndrome kind of like how I was talking about last week. And then she said that she went through all of her old photos and was like, who is that person? I just did that. It's so weird. Sometimes I'll be watching. I just picked this up with my toe like a monkey. Um, sometimes I'll be watching my favorite YouTubers and like, I feel like our lives are so paralleled in, in just some unique ways. Yeah, so Helen, I guess is having some, she was just having some self doubt during like her hormonal time. She's really open and, transparent about just like her mental health and everything and so she's just kind of chatting about that but I was just like oh my god I just did that and she has an actual successful YouTube um to like where she has more at stake I guess you could say like I feel like 
sorry, I'm tidying up as I'm talking, but I feel like she has more to lose. Um, I mean, if I didn't do YouTube, it wouldn't really make that big of an effect on anything because I don't, it's not like my income and it's not what I do for a living. I would like it to be to an extent, but I don't seek a large audience. I'm terrified of that just because of what other YouTubers seem to go through with a large YouTube audience. So I don't promote it. I didn't tell anybody in my class that I did YouTube. I don't really tell people that I do it. Um, I go through phases where I feel really proud of it and I blast it on Instagram and then I retract again and go, don't tell people. Cause I just don't, I feel like if anybody's going to come on here and watch my YouTube channel, it's because they like found something in me that they were interested in naturally. And they just want to like watch my journey. And that's just like more organic. Um, I don't want to push it. I'm, I'm not really interested in like giveaways and like trying to get a bunch of followers anymore because it's scary. Like I'm scared. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I have what it takes to handle a lot of opinions flying around at me. So mad kudos to um, Helen for being able to even handle the negativity that does come with um, having a following. Social media can be so um, challenging and especially if you have dreams of succeeding in it and then it doesn't work out it can be so discouraging and I have moments where I'm pissed that I'm doing it because it's taking up time I'm like this is my day off I've been sitting here editing for free this is my day off why am I doing this but in the in the long run um, I do it because it's fun and I love as I said before I absolutely love sharing just my day to day. It's just my little journal. It's my way to update and I get to talk to a few of you and it's great. And this is like really all I want. Um, if more people find me, they find me, but I'm not looking for the drama that comes with it at all. So I just wanted to put that out there because it's just so wild. The imposter syndrome thing when you feel like, what am I doing? Why am I sharing this? You know, like you just start to second guess everything that you do and wonder like, is this just absolute shit? You know, you do it all the time. Anytime you're like kind of more in the public eye on social media, even little old me, just tiny little corner of the YouTube world, me, Sienna, like I still, I get that way. I can't imagine if you had like thousands and thousands of followers, how that must feel. Oh God, I don't think I'd sleep at night. I already have night terrors when I'm stressed out. I think I would have night terrors on a regular basis if I was, doing YouTube. God, it makes me like scared. Okay. Anyway, not that any, just, just don't tell anybody that I'm here. Okay. Can we just keep it between us? Thanks. Um, anyway, the hair is great. I look at that. See, this is what I'm talking about. I just wanted a nice fluffy little, um, quick way to just make my hair look healthy and bouncy and it totally breathed life back into these old extensions that are on their last legs to be fair. So I really only have to run out to Target but I want to go get some candles because I need some fall scented candles which means I'm going to go to TJ Maxx which is right next to Target um, and then I'm going to come back and start editing. So really it's a short errand. Okay here is the little outfit of the day cutest little H&M dress you ever did see. Anyway, I'm feeling hella cute. I'm gonna go get a smoothie. I'm gonna order one from Gather, see if they've got the pumpkin smoothies going on because they're the best. And go get some candles. And then I'm gonna probably wrap up, honestly, I'll probably wrap up my day after that just because um, I've got a lot to edit now. I sure did make up for lost time pretty quickly. I don't know how I do it.